Hey guys, welcome back to Trend Space, and today I'm here, finally, <laughs> with the Q&A. <laughs> it's been like five months since I promised the Q&A. The first one I filmed was just like, so many distractions happened, like it was just the worst thing ever, like I couldn't edit it. And I tried to do one on Instagram, and then when I filmed it, it didn't look, like it was out of focus. So this is my third attempt <laughs> at the Q&A. Something always goes wrong, something just went wrong, my memory card didn't save anything I just filmed, so... Luckily I only answered a few questions, but it's annoying. It's quite annoying. But on the bright side, I do want to say thank you guys for 13k! <laughs> but yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you, especially the new people. Thank you for joining, and then the people that have been here since the beginning of the journey. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you guys for just being a really good community. You guys are just very polite. You guys are respectful towards each other. You guys aren't negative, so I really appreciate that too. So thank you for being such awesome people. I love you all. Let's get into this video. So what I did was I went on to my Instagram and I posted in my story that I'm doing a Q&A. So people ask their questions there. So I have a few here and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna answer them. If you wanna be a part of the next Q&A, be sure to follow me here. I feel like I haven't done that in so long. And the next time I do a Q&A, you can ask a question. Also, like, I have, like, a nice jacket on, and then I have, like, basketball shorts on. <laughs> YouTube! Okay, so, let's get started. What made you start skating? I think I answered this before in the first Q&A I did, uh, but I'll just try to give, like, a quick brief, 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 breath, brief recap. Uh, I started skating when I was 18 years old. Like, I like to just say, like, that's, like, the official age I was when I actually started skating and actually, like, committed to, like, doing tricks and stuff and not just having the board in my uh, garage for four years. The main reason I started skating is actually because I saw The Skate Kitchen. So if you don't know what that is, it's a movie about these group of girls from New York and they all skate and it's amazing. They're all amazing. But anyways, I saw the promotion for their movie. So I was like, hmm, let me like check this out because like, what is this? I already had an interest in skateboarding. I just, I never tried. So then I went to Instagram and I typed in their name and I looked at all of their, their their stuff and I was just like, oh my god, like this is real, like these girls actually skate. I've never really seen like girls skating as hardcore as guys skate, you know what I mean? So I was just very like, whoa, like what did I just find? So then I looked at all their clips and I was just like, wow, and I started following everybody. And then as I started following more and more people, I started seeing more and more new people and the hashtags and I just went like, on like a, I don't know, deep dive on Instagram that night. So after just browsing Instagram and following everybody, I was just super pumped. <laughs> the next morning, I went outside and I started skating. And that's why I started skating. And then the rest, the rest is history. It's like what they say in the movies or books, I don't know. And then the next question kind of ties into that. How do you find motivation in the practice? Uh, definitely, like, like I just said, like Skate Kitchen, is something that really helps me get motivated and just in general watching people skate especially uh women skate so just watch some videos like it really really helps like but yeah subscribe to thrasher and you can subscribe to other uh skater brands and stuff like that like most of them post parts and most of them post like the full video sometimes definitely watch people skate watch videos watch movies mid 90s is great skate kitchen is great instagram is great youtube is great <laughs> Do you wish you started skating at a younger age? For sure, yeah, definitely. Like if I was, I started skating like I said when I was 18, so like I felt like it was too late. I was like, it's too late, <laughs> it's too late. But yes, in theory, I wish that I would have started skating earlier. But I'm just really happy I started skating in general, so hopefully I uh, don't get too old. <laughs> yeah, I'm 20 years old now. I've been skating for about two and a half years, and I definitely think I would have been amazing <laughs> if I started skating at the age of three or something. Where do you see yourself slash hope to be in five years? That was from my beloved friend, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, how are you? Good. I hope you actually answered like the question as I was saying it. I really wanna continue to make YouTube videos and I wanna continue to skate as long as I physically and mentally, I guess, but mostly physically can. Okay, phobias. Oh my gosh, you know, I'm, I'm actually really like scared to like tell you guys my phobias. I have a fear of maggots and anything that's kind of like in that area. I don't like slugs. I don't like snails. Um, I don't know what it is about them. They just, when I see them, I get, I have, I'll have a panic attack. Like, I don't know why, but that's always how it's been since I've been a kid. I am 
terrified of worms. So whenever it rains, I get really like anxious. I don't like to walk on the sidewalk. I like to walk in like the street if I can. I actually used to have to make my mom or my dad or my brother carry me on their backs whenever we get out the car and it was nighttime and I couldn't see and it was like raining because I just, I had a fear of stepping on them too. So like, I don't know, everything about them is just, even thinking about them, I can't even look up stuff about being scared of worms because I'm scared I'm gonna see a picture. I'm not scared of spiders. I'm not scared of cockroaches. Like if I, if I found one, I would just, you know, get rid of it and hope it doesn't come back. You know, you gotta clean up, but you know, like I, I'm just, I'm not scared of bugs. I'm not scared of insects. I'm not scared of, anything else i'm just terrified of worms <laughs> favorite movies yes my favorite movies okay i'll just name a few uh the theory of everything that's a great movie me and her on the dying girl mid 90s her it's a great movie i love her i, I, I keep going but those are ones that i'll rewatch over and over again and like be fine i'll just be completely fine <laughs> favorite food Ooh, i've never gotten that one before okay i'm not gonna choose my favorite food i'm gonna choose my favorite restaurant and it's Nando's. If you guys know me, you guys know I used to work at this restaurant called Nando's. It's very popular in the UK. When I was working there, it was still kind of expanding into the United States, so I'm not sure where they are. But yes, I used to work at store number 19. That's where I used to work. And that was my first job, my favorite job, and it was the best place ever. They have great food. It's South African and Portuguese food. It's all about the chicken. But yeah, that's my favorite food, I think. I will eat Nando's every single day. And I did, because we got a free meal. I love working at Nando's. It was such a good job. Oh my God, such great people. I, love, I miss it, only in a few states. That's why it's so hard to like, get. If you have a Nando's nearby, please try it out. It's really good. Get that flame grilled chicken. Mm. What is your favorite music genre? Okay, that's a that's a really good question because I actually use this website. I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it here. And you log in with your Spotify account. And if you don't trust that, then you know don't do it. But I did it. Nothing bad has happened yet. And it looks at all of your music and figures out like how obscure your music taste is and what your top genres are. So I know my top genres are like indie rock, bedroom pop. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> I can't answer it. I listen to something new every day, but I'm just gonna say bedroom pop because like, I can always go for some bedroom pop. What are some of your future plans? So um, Jordan and I are both planning to stay here in Florida, like in the Orlando area for another year because we really like the friends we've made and we're kind of establishing something good here. So we're like, why would we, why would we move? I don't know. I graduate in June, so I've got to get a job. I've got to get a job. But I honestly don't know if I want to get a job in the film industry. It doesn't seem like something that I want to do for my entire life. I really like helping people, so I looked into becoming a massage therapist. So I'm I'm actually going to be starting school to become a massage therapist shortly after I graduate from film school. Uh, I don't regret going to film school at all. I definitely learned so much. I still have a love for filmmaking, but I just don't think I want to be in the film industry like that. I think becoming a massage therapist would be a great job for me. My ultimate goal is to work in some kind of doctor's office, like a chiropractic office, or just some kind of physical therapy office where I'm, I'm the massage therapist there so it's like a very nice professional environment what's been your motivation during quarantine and you're so pretty thank you i've really only had motivation for one thing and that's really just kind of to use this time to help myself grow i don't really have a good routine i don't think i've got like the best habits they're not like bad or anything it's just like they could be better like drinking more water things like that and i've been really trying to focus on myself building better habits, trying to get myself into a routine. So I've been using apps and trying to get organized, creating to-do lists, setting affirmations and goals for the day. Every day I've been doing yoga every morning. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just using the time to work on myself, I guess. But that's what's motivating me. It's just really knowing that once I commit to the goals that I'm trying to reach, I'm gonna feel so much better. So yeah, favorite trick. What's your favorite trick overall and what's your dream trick? Those are two separate people. I think my favorite trick that I have right now is a shove, pop shove. Because when I do them, I feel like Alexis Sablon. There's like a specific clip that plays in my like mind whenever I think of a pop shove and then her. It's like a specific clip. And I remember like watching that clip for the first time, I was like, I want my pop shoves to look just like that. But yeah, those are one of my favorite tricks because I can land them most times and they just feel so good to land. I don't think I have a dream trick like that's like a flat ground trick i know for sure that i just overall want to be better at skating like ramps and transition i just want to be able to like 
go on a mini ramp and just do everything that there is to do. If we all go to the movies, what food are you sneaking in? Um, Nando's. Hello. My dad has literally snuck in pork chops and hot sauce before. It was the funniest thing ever. So I'd probably bring Nando's, you know, just, I love Nando's so much. Y'all can hire me again, I'm here. I'm a proud Nandoka, okay? All right. What are some ways you check in with your humility as you gain popularity? That's a pretty, that's a pretty good question. I'm not sure how to answer this. I don't know how to word it, but I just know that I don't think much of myself. Not in it, not like that, but like, I feel like just because someone has um, a bunch of followers or, you know, numbers or subscribers, you know what I mean? I feel like that doesn't give anyone a reason to treat someone bad and, um, I like to respect people until I have a reason not to that they've shown me. But for the most part, I try to treat everyone the same. I'm just a normal person. Even though like my channel is growing and stuff, I just want to be seen as a normal person. You guys can talk to me. I, I think one of the hard things about getting like, I guess gaining popularity is that you get more messages. And that's the thing that I like struggle with is that like, I sometimes don't see everyone's messages or when I do, it's like weeks later. So I'm like, oh, I feel bad because like, I didn't reply um but that's like one of the only things that i kind of can think about that comes with like you know the numbers and and i guess like growing popularity other than that i feel like everything is just still the same before i had my youtube channel like i just feel like um more people watch it now like for most people i'm uh, not most people but some people when they get more followers or they get famous or whatever they tend to treat people different or they tend to think of themselves as just way bigger than they are but in reality we're all just humans like we're all just people so I just see myself as a person and I see you guys as people and when you guys talk to me I talk to you guys as people we're all people at the end of the day we're all people and I'm gonna end this here <laughs> I don't want it to be too long so thank you to everyone that asked me a question I really appreciate it you guys made the video possible so now I want to ask you guys a question why did you start skating how'd you start skating what made you want to start skating? Do you love skating? Let me know in the comments down below. And you can also leave like when you start skating too, like how like how far in you are into your journey. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's not skating, so I know a lot of people probably didn't click it, but if you're here and you clicked it, like, thanks. <laughs>